Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna do a little takedown and deep dive about this pulse engine, kind of talk a little more about how these different parts work. I mean, the thing is, this part over here, there's nothing really new. This could be a little motor right here for all we care. You know, just, that's your input. Nothing too exciting there. This over here is just a bike wheel with a janky free wheel ratchet. Nothing new there, but the, the new stuff is right in here. So we're gonna take this all apart, talk about it. So first thing is, this roller bearing is probably the most important part of this little prototype. That's that's gonna roll to the left. Try that again. So that plate's gonna go in there and it's gonna engage with that roller bearing. Click, it's locked up now. So that's how that locking mechanism works. This rolls back and forth. And then that little plate or whatever you want to call it can go down. So let's take apart. So that's the ratchet little mechanism. I like to use cotter pins on my prototypes, easy to take apart. So you can see here how one side of the spring is attached to this side and the other side of the spring is attached to this side. So as you wind it up, the spring extends. And one thing about using extension springs in this application is you can only get a quarter of a rotation because it bumps into the center axle. So you can only get a quarter rotation using extension springs. You know, not big. So you need some way to lock these springs on to this post because they rattle around as you can imagine and they fall off. Here's the roller bearing mechanism. 